how to make your own personal video game on Chromebook. Now, in this series, we're going to be going over making a platformer game, and we're going to go step by step. We're going to go over player development, we're going to go over scenery and environment design, and we're going to go over the enemy mechanisms that are going to be used in this game. Now, basically, I'm going to be throwing out a challenge for the tech savvy guys out there. At the end of this series, we're going to be giving a prize to whoever made the best video game on their Chromebook. And so make sure to join my Discord and get ready to submit your end of game results. And also, if this video gets more than 100 likes, that means that you guys are interested we're going to be making episode two episode three and more episodes without further ado let's jump right in now in this first episode we're going to make sure that we lay a solid and a good foundation so that this baseline can enhance and make sure that everything goes smoothly now if you do not already have play store just go ahead and click on the video right on screen to get play store for yourself if you already do just go ahead and click on your play store now once you're here just go ahead and click on the search bar and type in godot g-o-d-o-t and hit enter right away now immediately Immediately, you're going to see that it gives you the Godot engine 4 with LE access. This is the one we want. Just go ahead and click on install and wait for this to finish up. Great. Now, once your app is done downloading, that is absolutely good news. Go ahead and click on open right away and wait for it to load. Now, it's going to ask us to allow access to manage all files. You want to go ahead and enable this and just click the back key right here. And then that should be it. It should start loading. Great. Now, once that is done, you want to go ahead and click on create new products at the left hand side of your screen. Now, don't worry. This looks like a lot but it's pretty simple the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and get a project name now i'm just going to name this challenge because we'll be doing a challenge for this specific series and once i've named my project you can name it anything you feel like and then make sure that the create thing or the create folder thing is ticked blue and it's showing green and not red make sure you've checked this box and once you're done with that just leave this on mobile leave this on git and leave this on edit now now the most crucial part of this whole thing to make this video very simple for you is that go ahead and click on the browse thing at the right hand side of your screen here once you've You've clicked on that go ahead and click on the top arrow right here to take you back to your directories now once here you want to go ahead and click on the download folder right here and click on select this folder now the reason why we did this is to make it very very easy for you if this shows this error message or anything don't worry about this but the reason why we did this is to make it very very easy for you to manipulate data that is going into this gaming engine once you're done with that you can just go ahead and click on create once you're here it's going to ask you this folder is not empty blah 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 i already had a folder that was named challenge but if you don't see this error message or anything don't worry just go ahead and click on ok and then just go ahead great now as you can see our engine has fully loaded up and we want to go ahead and click on the resizable at the top hand side of your bar you don't want this to be on landscape you want it to be on resizable click on allow and then go ahead and make this full screen because we're going to need every single inch on that screen to make sure that everything runs smoothly now let's get into the basics before we get into episode two if this video gets 100 likes now the first thing you realize is that you can see there's a 3d button at the top hand side of your screen there is script there is game there is asset lib and there is 2d as well now, these are just the basic different engines that we could be using in Godot. We're going to be using the 2D one and the script one a lot. And so those are the ones we're going to be focusing on for now. Now, the first thing we want to do once you're here is that we need to understand the interface as well. Now, on the left hand side, we have the scenes and we have import. And then we also have something at the bottom hand side, which is the file system. Now, with this file system, we're going to do something specific for it because it can cause a lot of issues. And you can have the inspect and the stuff on the right hand side of your screen as well. This is a pretty basic interface. You get it as long as we go or you follow along the way now because the file system on the left hand side can cause a lot of problems for this le access one we want to go ahead and click on the three dots at the right hand side of this once you've clicked on that go ahead and click on move to bottom because brands is down here it's not going to cause that many problems and you can go ahead and adjust this or leave it as it is it doesn't really matter until you're working on the interface now with that said that's the end of episode one i'll see you guys in episode two don't forget to smash the like subscribe and bell button and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out Thank you.